throw some emblems on him. His defense needs some major help, and his health total is astronomically low. You got to fix that for sure. Big important things there. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we are doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Jack O'Hare. Fun fact, he was one of the very first heroes that they released. That was a special hero that just came out, especially right around Easter, almost four years ago. Kind of interesting. He's got 743 on his attack, 603 on his defense, and 960 on his health. Statistically, the attack power is pretty good. Defense is okay, but that health total is ridiculously low. You got a problem there, buddy. He's running at fast speed. He's part of the Springvale Heroes, which means he gives you a bonus. Between two, three heroes, they get anywhere between 10% and 20% attack. So you got multiple little rabbits running around. You're gonna get some added extra bonuses there. As far as his hero specials go, he deals 180% damage to all enemies. The caster gets minus 20% defense for three turns. This status effect can't be dispelled. So with him running at fast speed, he's hitting every single character at 180% damage to all enemies. Kind of interesting. They definitely gave him a buff over some time, help him out a little bit, and make him a little bit better. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. If you want a huge head start, all you gotta do, go to the link in the description, and if you're a new player, you get one day XP boost, three raid flasks, one ancient chart, and one void champion bulwark, and 50 gems. All your treasure, it's waiting for you right over here. He is a ranger class hero, so that means if you do throw some emblems on him, his defense needs some major help, and his health total is astronomically low. You gotta fix that for sure. Big important things there. So I would definitely recommend balancing him out, make him a little bit more defensive for sure. But it does help out that he has a 743 on his attack. So you want to not neglect that. So probably attack and health is going to be your big main focus when putting on emblems. When we look at his Titan grade, he is going to get a B on a Titan. The only reason why he has a B is because he's got 743 on his attack. So he could potentially fit into the high tile damage slot on a Titan. It does kind of impact him with getting minus 20% defense after he does that. You don't really care about his hero specials. The only reason where he could potentially be usable is the fact that he's got the 743 on his attack power and that's it. When we look at him offensively, I do personally like this hero. He is going to get a B plus. The ability to have a character that runs at fast speed dealing damage to all enemies is quite useful, especially considering you've got Buddy also in there as well as Almer running in and you can pair them really well together. So a lot of times when I'm running him on my team, I'll potentially wait a little bit until my average heroes also go off. So then that way I can pair them and I can deal a whole bunch of damage. So I do like this hero quite a bit on offense, being able to deal damage to everybody and not really being limited to specific heroes, especially running at fast speed. I personally give him a B plus, but I could see maybe he could have some grades a little bit less than that. When we look at him defensively, he is going to get a C as far as the tank grade goes. I think this is a really bad idea, just being that he's got really low defense as well as really low life. And then not only to mention, with him dealing damage to all enemies, it's not that much damage. And he's also giving himself minus 20% defense for three turns. I don't recommend it all as a, as a tank at all. When we look at his flank grade, he is going to get a B grade. There is possibly some usage that you could be using for him being in the flank. Uh, setting up so he is dealing damage to everybody uh, But again, he's gonna be very very fragile you do you can fix that with some emblems And then he does kind of fit in a little bit in the wing. He is gonna get a B grade there Potentially if you are using him you can throw him in the very far corner But I think that there still are just a lot better heroes that you could potentially be using He does get an overall defensive grade of a B. This is close to a B minus I see that there could maybe be some usage You just really got to fix him up with some emblems 
Getting into the weekly raid grade, he is going to get a C on rush attack. Uh, with him already running at fast speed, probably not the biggest factor on rush attack. I see heroes like Little John, Skittle Skull. Those heroes are just going to be a lot better being used uh, now that they're running at very fast speed. So I'm not a huge, huge fan of him being ran on rush attack. He is going to get a C grade there. Now when we look at his buff grade, he is going to get a B. There is some usability for using him as a character on buff. I see that that, you know, him just running at fast speed, you're not really impacting that. Obviously, it's not that great to be getting the, the negative side effects for the three turns at the minus 20%. It's not going to be uh, the best thing going for you, kind of going against what it is that you want to do. But he is still here running at fast speed and could potentially just be killing them instead. On Bloody Battle, I do personally give him an A. I do like this hero on Bloody Battle with him running at fast speed, damaging all the boards. Plus, he does have pretty high tile damage. It just really puts a clock on the enemy. And I do like that a lot with him running on Bloody Battle. Again, keep in mind the weekly raid grades. These are all ran against other four stars. So I could see some usage on Bloody Battle. He is going to get an overall grade of a B plus. This is very close to a B. I personally like this hero. I use him a decent amount. I could see some usability for him. He also is pretty good for the events as well too. So maybe you have some usage there too. So thanks so much for watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe. You turn notifications on. Let me know in the comments. Did I get this grade right? Did I get it wrong? Let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next video.